Let's talk about interfaces and abstract classes. Now, in an interview, you're definitely going to be asked about the differences between interfaces and abstract classes. So here's how I remember it. Interfaces are like infants. You have to do everything for them, and they can come in twins or triplets. Abstract classes are like aloof adolescents. They prefer to be alone, but they can do some things for themselves. Let's take a look. So here I've got the interface infant. I've got a property here for age and days, and I've got a method for increment age. Now, if I try to actually instantiate this, Visual Studio starts yelling at me. Why? Because this is a baby. I can't put it to work yet. Just like a baby, an interface has all of the things you need to get an adult human started, but you have to actually teach this thing and implement this thing. So let's see how we do that. So now I've derived my infant from the interface infant. As you can see here, I've actually created or defined my property for age and days, and I've defined my increment age method. So when we try to instantiate this, I can't put the baby to work, but I can create a derived class and teach the baby a few things and put that to work. So what about abstract classes? Abstract classes can do a few things for themselves. So they're adolescents. So right here, you've got your age and days. This is already defined. Right here, you've got increment age. This is already defined. Things are going pretty well. But if you try to get them to stand on their own, Visual Studio starts yelling at you. We've got to inherit from this abstract class adolescent. So let's say we want to get our adolescent to clean his room. Now, if we take a look up here, let's create a new instance of the derived class. So Teenage Ryan is an instance of the My Adolescent class. Now let's get rid of this. And Teenage Ryan can do a couple interesting things. So Teenage Ryan can increment his age which, as you can see, was part of the abstract class, void increment age. You know, down here, we don't have this because this inherited from adolescent. But also, teenage Ryan can clean his room. Now, you're going to get a follow-up question on multiple inheritance. C Sharp does not support multiple inheritance. But you can do it with interfaces. So here's how this works. Here I have interface infant, and let's say I want to create a baby tiger. So I'm going to create interface tiger, and one of the methods on this tiger is roar. It's perfectly fine for me to create a class baby tiger that inherits from infant and inherits from tiger, as long as I implement all of the properties and methods. Now, watch what happens if I try to do this with an abstract class. So here's my abstract class adolescent, and I want to create a teenage tiger. So I'm going to create an abstract class called tiger. Now, when I actually try to create my teen tiger, Visual Studio starts yelling at me. Tiger can't have multiple base classes of adolescent and tiger. So interfaces are like infants. They can't do anything on their own. You have to instantiate everything. And sometimes they can come in twins and triplets. You can do multiple inheritance. Abstract classes are like aloof adolescents. They know a couple of things, but you still have to instantiate them to get them to do anything, and they prefer to be alone. You can't do multiple inheritance. Good luck on your next interview.